So it is Monday morning and the start of another running week. So let's look where we are. We are day 71 marathon training. 20 days until Manchester Marathon. Six days until Reading Half Marathon. And today it is five miles quick running. So starting off the week with a quick run. Um, legs are tired after last week. 55 miles running and a long mileage weekend with 30 miles. So legs are a little bit tired. Um, but let's kick start the week with a nice quick five miles to get all that out of the system, get the lungs going, get the legs going. I'm looking forward to an exciting week running. So that's those five miles all done to kickstart the week and we're into tapering phase now which basically is doing the same sort of runs um, but with three weeks before the marathon so just reducing each run by about 20 percent um, so that you are rested and recovered and nice and fresh to hit your race and um, we've done the fatigue bit where we've um, worked really hard and now's the time to start recuperating resting recovering so that we are nice and fresh both in our legs, body and mind, ready to take on what is a massive challenge. So um, a really important part in your training in the tapering phase. So day one of tapering. So it's bright and early, 6 a.m. club. Um, no beautiful sunrise this morning. The clouds are upon us, it's pretty gray. The wind's got up a bit. It's a bit of a damp, dull day to be fair. But hey, train is on, 6 a.m. club, eight miles on the cards, let's get ready. So eight miles all done, very pleased with that. Legs were feeling good. It was hard work, but legs were feeling good. Aim for sort of seven minute miles, and um, I've come in at 6.49, so really, really pleased with that, and all looking good for Red in Half, which is on Sunday. So I'm proper countdown to that now. So two more sessions left and a couple of rest days before um, Red in Half to make sure that my legs are nice and fresh. So it's Wednesday morning, we're halfway through the week now, and today's run is five quick miles. So let's get running. You see, when you're out running, you discover beautiful places like this. And being out and early, you have them all to yourself. Not a soul, around the whole lake. The whole lake to myself. It's the rewards of running. Oh, so morning run done and you can really feel that the Manchester Marathon is fast approaching. All the little pre-race things are starting. Um, received the email yesterday that my race pack and race number is on its way. So one of the first exciting sort of pre-race things to happen. So that should be here by the end of the week. And when you sort of receive your race number, it really begins to become very real. Um, so that's all exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait for you to get going really. Do lots of hard work and prep and literally the end is nearly in sight so just keep up this last little bit of training and um, the race day should soon be upon us and we can get going. So 
So it's Thursday morning, out for my run, and today we can see in the background a nice big hill. That's because it is hill run day. So we've got six hills to do, just done a mile warm up to get myself down here, and then I've got six of those beauties to run up. So with a bit of a, um, a jog back down as my rest recovery, down to the bottom, turn around and back up again. So six of those to look forward to. Doing this at just gone six o'clock in the morning. I must be crazy. So halfway now, three done, three to go. Oh, and each one is like a little challenge that I quite enjoy. Obviously the little recovery run, but it gets your mind refocused again. When you get to the bottom of the hill, turn around, pause, big deep breath, ready to take on the next little challenge. And that's what running's all about, taking on lots of little challenges to achieve a big one. So this is six little challenges within the big challenge, within the greater challenge. Go training for and getting to just the marathon. So that is Thursday's run done. A gentle mile run to get myself home. And I've done, it's about 40 minutes of running, covered just over four and a half miles with the warm up, warm down and the hill runs. So that's the last of the running. Now until Sunday, two days rest. So the legs can recover before Reading half marathon. So rest and recovery, I'm looking forward to that race. <laughs> 